You find the lieutenants and the uncorrupted Lyrium stores. Bring them here, and I'll give you envy. Show those things no mercy. We still gotta get rid of it. Maintain a hold on the Great Hall. The Templars will hold the Great Hall, but their strength will wane over time. Oh. Returning to help the Templars re-secure the Great Hall will restore their strength. If the Templars are overwhelmed, the battle will be lost. Okay, so there's a bit of a timed component to this. This is the bar. I don't want to let it drop too low. I gotta do other stuff in the meantime. I need to find the Templar veterans so that they can help hold the fort. All right, well, let's not wait long then. What's the plan, Sabaris? Envy's rare. Rank and file aren't trained for that. That's why it took us top down. But there's a few left who can handle it. Veterans. Bring them here. With them and enough normal lyrium, we can punch a hole in that barrier. We need Templars, but we do not need the Order. It is so filled with corruption. There is no saving it. Some sanity remains. Good. We need them to have their wits. Glad to see Curly isn't the only Templar left who isn't crazy. Is it okay that we keep talking? Thought we were kind of being timed here. You're not mages. You need Lyrium for this? Templars deny magic, but Envy demons are tough. Especially when they've had time to entrench themselves. The veterans can show us how to push. The Lyrium will help. So when we break, we break the enemy. Break? You mean you could die? A demon holds the honor of the Order. There isn't a man or woman here who will let that stand. I hope so. So far, the Templars don't exactly have a good track record. Mostly because of the Red Lyrium, but yeah. Envy claimed to serve the Elder One, just like your Knight Captain. Maybe it's to do with the war with the mages, but... I don't know anymore. This is all above me. But bring me the tools, and I'll stand to the last. This guy wasn't even that high up. He's just a random lackey, and now he's being forced to um, figure all this out. I need to understand how you could accept the use of corrupted Lyrium. Oh my god, not we now. Didn't know it was corrupted. <laughs> the Lord Seeker only said it was better than Chantry Lyrium. That's it. You have to understand. All magic is corruptible. All magic is dangerous, and yet all magic can serve. The Red Lyrium was just a tool. Or so we thought. Oh, the other one disappeared. Oh, hmm. Whenever I can get it back, hold up. When did the Lord Seeker start taking over? I'm shamed, whatever I say. If he was fake at the start, we let a demon walk in. If he was genuine, Envy took the Lord Seeker from under our noses. Arrogant fools. All of us. Mmm, especially with... Yeah, you would assume that we would see more mage abominations with the veil being broken and all, but no, the first time anything like this is happening is with the Templars, who got taken by a demon and no one even realized. I need to understand how you could accept the use of corrupted Lyrium. We didn't know it was corrupted. The Lord Seeker only said yeah, yeah, it was yeah. better than Chantry Lyrium. That's it. You have to. The Red Lyrium was just a tool. Or so we thought. I thought that you guys didn't know what Red Lyrium was entirely, but by how you're saying it, it sounds like you knew it was dangerous and you decided to use it. So that's a bit more dangerous than the previous. I hope you're right. I'll return. Not sure how. Look, this. <sighs> The Red Lyrium is well known everywhere already for being dangerous. I guess so. I thought it was a lesser known thing. We'll keep the hall, Herald of Andraste. Show them the light. Yep. Oh, it's not time then, I guess. Judging by how there's these transition screens here. Or not a very, very strict timer anyway. I heard people yelling. Where are ya? Hi? Hi? Someone help! Ooh. May I focus on the horror a little bit too much? Where's everybody else? You guys doing good work? Vivienne and the freezing. Amazing. Uh oh, the Great Hall. 
We are a little bit timed here. What the hell? The statues! Look at the statues in the back! It's the same kind that we normally see with people who worship the Elder One. The Elder One wants her dead. Empress Selene. He hates her, haunts her, wants her dead, but hides. Why? He hid other things, too. He really wants her dead. So, a plot against the Empress. These guys don't think small, do they? I wonder why this Elder One wants her dead. It does seem a little bit too specific. Oh shoot, it's going down. Okay, let's not dawdle then. Yeah, these statues. Oh, forget it. Forget it. Should we go back then? We haven't even done anything here yet. I mean, I'll, I'll come back and... This might be too, too quick for us to come back. But it already went down by like half. Yeah, I thought the Elder One wanting Selene dead was mostly just a sewing general chaos kind of thing, but it's so specific it feels like it might be a little bit more than that. Get out of here. Wait, what can I? Yeah, there you go. Any other ones? Just in time. How many Red Templars have you fought? Some broke through to siege the hall. More will come. Okay. Oh, so it goes back it goes back up to full after everything. I haven't even done the thing I came here for though. I got the key. And now what? I wanna go. It's going down again already! Can I open the gate here? Was this what needed the key? This must be the Red Lyrium the Lord Seeker gave the Templars. Just like Haven and the Breach. Where are they getting it from? They're either mad or fools even to be touching this. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, <laughs> good thing we're not doing this for real, huh? This would drive me mad with the looting. Lyrium Manifest. Three crates, high grade. West Sink Mines, Orzammar, House Keltar. Two crates, regular grade. Stern and Peak, Anor Falls, Town of Geltberg. Five crates of red Lyrium. Rations given out only on Lord Seeker's orders. A note pinned to the bottom of the page. Isric. Is it just me, or does red Lyrium sound different than the rest? I caught the new boy listening to it after stacking the crates. Dragged him up by his ears, but the night captain says to put him on the red lyrium from now on. Too lenient, if you ask me. Here, the untainted lyrium Barris told us about. Okay. There is a thing here. I mean, that was- wasn't that the room that we were in earlier? I didn't see a person. Is it this room? Oh, letter. Notes and letters from Therenfall. This note is creased several times, as if it were folded and jammed into a pocket. Be wary. Every Templar will be on watch for what you are. A Lord Seeker is never seen without ceremonial armor. I had a replica made. It should serve your purpose in Therenfall. Remember, Seekers have no place in the new world our master is building. The life of Lucius Korn ends with you. The Envy Demon had some sort of a comrade here. I don't see any veterans though. There's an upper portion? How do we get up? Okay, we have to be careful about how long we're, we've been here too. Ooh, this one seems stressful. Walk from the other side. There is an upper portion, but we don't know how to... 
get there. Well, it does seem like there's a ladder, but... I hear fighting. We should return to the Great Hall. And then we can't get beyond here. We found the key. Maybe we gotta use the key elsewhere and then come back to this side. Yeah, that doesn't go anywhere. Every time we go back, we're gonna have to fight again. So we really wanna um, try to do all that we can in that one area before we do that, because otherwise we'll have to fight a million times. This is before I got the spell. I don't even have the spell here. At least I have Vivian. Get them all. It's okay though, as long as we come back before they fully die, I think we're fine. We don't have to come back often. Just that I didn't even see that there was anything else on that side. Thank you for the assistance. Free to pass. I hope you're what they say. Yeah, hopefully it'll, it'll keep going up. Wait! Oh, okay, so if I leave too early... Wait, 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 wait. Did you see that just now? Because I left too early, it didn't go back to the full bar. And now we have to fight again. I've gotta wait. Mad Dash, let's go. I don't think there's anything there. Hmm. Oh, everyone! Try to come out! Why don't you? Give you some bees. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You gotta give me time to look around. The Templars who have not fallen to the corruption fight bravely. I pray there is enough of the Order to save. We can't leave with empty hands, Seeker. If needed, measures must be taken. Majestic bastards? Look at that later on. Oh, I think we got something here. Hey! Herod, you live. That cage ain't gonna do anything here. Oh, there's a few more around the corner! Does that mean we got one veteran? You bless us. I feared you were dead. Just get to the hall. Barris will explain. Fight well. I hear fighting. We should return to the Great Hall. Let me check out the codex that we got then. Majestic bastards. Oh, envy. Envy demons are equal parts arrogance and cowardice. They isolate their victims to study them at length, seeking to become them. Once a demon is satisfied, it knows its chosen subject. It takes on their form, leaving the poor soul to rot. Envy is never satisfied, however. The demon's bottomless cravings to be more. More powerful, more skilled, more inspired. Cause it to seek fresh prey, leaving a trail of stolen identities behind. This transition is when envy is weakest, for it is vulnerable as it moves from body to body, slavishly copying the habits of the old identity until it finds another mortal to mimic. This is why I'm writing this down. The man cowering before me wanted so badly to know what a demon thinks, wants, feels. He would document everything. Everything. He resists a prisoner in his own home. But I already know this. I hunger for knowledge as he does. As I will. Oh wow, the, the demon wrote this entry. That's so spooky. Majestic Bastards, it was a tale. I remember the second last one. I wouldn't get closer than 60 feet, double the wingspan. That left you time to move. The beast was too weak to do much. Still, 
Seemed respectful to keep the distance and leave its end animal in trainer. She starved out. Not the way they should go, and not the way I was used to seeing them. Wingspan? Dragons? Oh, they were majestic bastards, and they knew it. Ask any warden dumped arse over ears for not picking nits. See, trainer and beast had a kinship. Ah, oh, griffins. And both knew what they wanted. For griffin, that bond meant grooming. Couldn't fault them. They needed what they needed. I mean, what's fair trade for saddling a warden commander, full plate, lightning storm, sheer dive straight through an archdemon's wing? Legendary, you can't argue. But back on the ground, they knew they were owed. And you couldn't shortcut and douse them. They had all the majesty of a paddling rat if you waterlogged the feathers. No, it was a grueling task of preening 30 bloody feet of wing. And you'd better remember, or maybe the thing got pissy next flight and cut an oak too close. Give you a love tap so hard your next helm dented. Still, everything in balance, every talent tipped. There was nothing that compared. You could reach down from the sky and cradle Thetis in your hand. Anyway, yes, I remember the second last one. After she dropped, the robes took some crosscuts, because they do things like that. And then we burned it. And then I got drunk. I do not remember the very last, and you can't make me. Oh, st on the extinction, yeah. Grey Wardens, how did they actually go extinct? Griffins, we don't really know. These are from the Wise Hopped Records. Liberated for public consideration by Philium, a bard. Does that mean stolen from Wise Hopped? <laughs> Probably. Hmm. It would have been nice to see a real griffin. Okay, we have a bit more time. We can continue looking around this area. Oh, we might be able to get the other guy if we can get up Enemies. and wrap back around somehow. Herald, you live. Yeah, there's another one here. Oh, yeah. Get him. Good job, guys. Hey. It's good to see you alive, Harold. Head back into the main hall. We'll meet you there. Of course. Two in one go. The other place didn't have a single one. And then this allows me to... Go back to the Great Hall. Okay, in that case... Was there anything else worth looking at? There is a plaque down there. The Great Hall is doing okay so far, so I'm not gonna... You know, it's a bit annoying. Oh! Is this just goodies? Is it just goodies? Oh, this goes down to another... Oh, are all the rooms actually secretly linked? Okay, if it's like a chest, I'm not gonna open it. Number one, because we don't have time. And number two, I don't have inventory. I hear fighting. We should return to the Great Hall. I'm gonna try opening one of them, see how it goes. But we're a little bit tight on time now. It's just an extra place for you to get some loot and stuff. I gotta say, this one is a lot more stressful than the mage quest, huh? Even though, story-wise, seeing all of our... Seeing the future and all that, that was a bit more shocking. Okay, let me... Let me go this way. Oh, hi. So I haven't been here before? Okay, you guys check this out. Oh, I need... Cassandra here. Although I'm not sure if we'll... get anywhere. Anything worth looking at in here? I hear shouts from the Great Hall. We should return. Oh, it's just stuff. Okay, I think we should leave now. Ah! The mouse is going crazy today. Yeah, I don't think I have to be that worried. It does seem like it should be fine, but maybe I should have gone up there instead. I would have gone elsewhere, huh? We'll make sure this side stays clear. The others need you. 
Oh god. We good here? Vivian, doing great work. Okay. What's wrong? Only an injury from the skirmish. Don't trouble yourself. <clears throat> we got two Templars already. Almost there. We get the last of our veterans here without Lyrium. We have a shot. Hmm. When did the Lord Seeker start taking over? I'm ashamed, whatever I say. Oh, we got this one back if anyway. Fake at the start, we let a demon walk in. It's fine. We'll hold it on your lead. Oh my god, look at what's going on here. Yeah, so that door would have led out that way, which we could have gone up anyway. Am I good? Let's heal up. I'm not gonna take the supply cache right now. Doesn't seem like we have that many. Last Templar... We went here earlier, didn't we? Now, why wasn't I able to find it? It was a upper portion, so did I have to go to the upper one? Is there an upper? Yeah, there is an upper one there. Let me go up here. Ah, uh, okay, so this is the kind where you have to go from the bottom and then somehow get back up. I do see a book over there. I'm imagining I have to go back over there and then, you know, go through that way and then come back here and then get attacked again. Okay, be right back. Okay, we should be in the upper portion now. Lower ladder. Ah! Gotta lower it down here. I see. We can lower all of them. A nutty affair. Several months after Clemens II died, rumors that she had been a man in disguise began circulating in Val Royale. Oh. The gossip was eventually traced back to one sister, Constance, who was present when the Divine's body was cleaned and dressed for her funeral. Constance had a weakness for barley, barley wine and spoke of Clemens II's sensitive matter to a local tavern keep after having imbibed large quantities of the beverage. Revered Mother Estelle put the rumors to rest by declaring that she had also aided the sisters in dressing the late Divine's body for her cremation, and knew for a fact that Clemens II was a woman. She went on to say that Sister Constance was mistaken. What she saw was in actuality a squirrel that had clambered in through an open window and come to rest between the Divine's legs. That sounds like a really bad attempt at lying. <laughs> a nutty affair. Ah, okay, good, we can just walk around here. That's good too. There's some gold and stuff. I'm not even helping the people. Notes and letters from Therenfall. Scrawled note. Whatever comes, follow the instructions in the shipments to the letter. The officers know what they've signed on for, but don't start all the knights on Red Lyrium at once. Use the amounts we've parceled out. Give them medicine for the pain. They need to be ready to fight again soon enough. These are your people now, Lord Seeker. Be a better master to them than the Chantry. If I hear differently, you'll answer to the one we both serve. Oh, S. S. Yeah, they had some sort of a, a comrade, but who is it? S. Templar Order Banner. Is it okay that I'm not helping? I'll help after I push down the ladders. That's all of them. Back to your posts. Fantastic! Did it all by yourself. There we go. All right. I don't think we could have reached this area from the bottom section of this place. But we should be able to get the last Templar now. Yup, yup! That thing was Commander Terriel. I can't. You have to! If you don't, you'll die. Lots of people here. Get them all. Nice bashing. 
Riker. What happened to them? Regroup with Barris. He'll explain the plan. Good luck. I believe that's it. So we can go now. Unless if I want to look around a little bit more. Oh, was it? Oh, no, no. This was locked on the other side, right? That's why I couldn't get in here. Have you seen the uncorrupted Templars standing against the red? Keep your head, my dear, and this day may yet be salvaged. No, so that's just locked and... Oh, so we, we went that way, but I didn't see that door. I see. Can I open this? I'm just kind of curious what that door is. Oh! Hold up. Oh, I see, I see. You're supposed to bash this and they go back down below oh whoa for what <laughs> for nothing basically <laughs> nice pumpkins though I guess oh some schematics really Cassandra couldn't have opened that door really all right that's fine let's get back we're almost ready Alrighty. There's one dude. Thank you for the assistance. We good? Right. Keep them off us. We'll break this beast. Oh, now they're using the normal larium. Which, I don't even know if that's really any better, but at least it's not the red kind. Red Templars, coming through the barrier. We're under attack! We'll get them. Haha! -ha! Beautiful. It feels like there might be a bug with the Immolate. It says it's available when it's not. Because I've tried casting it a few times and it just doesn't work. Come on. Perfect, perfect, let's go. Don't touch me. This side now? Try to come over, why don't you? Stay back in your cage. Uh-oh. I'm gonna need a little bit of help on this side. Well, we gotta- wait, 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 they're coming from both sides, we gotta figure both things out. Cassandra might be running all over the place because she's trying to target who I'm targeting. <laughs> gotta be careful about stuff like that. Oh, they're only level 4, we're fine, we're fine, we'll just take it slow. Alright, quit that right now. Almost there. What? Kill that demon. End it. Wait, what? Cerberus is gone? What was happening up here? What? Oh no. Oh no. Let's go. Look, it's still glowing with red. <laughs> oh! Just checking. Just looking. No, there's something here. 
her perfumed sanctuary. Divine Rosamund. Now here's an interesting story. Rosamund was the youngest divine ever crowned. She was born to the noble Montebilliard family and groomed for the rank of divine by her predecessor, Divine Hortensia II. Records of Rosamund describe her as a radiant beauty, and she captured the hearts and imaginations of the Orlesian public almost immediately. Not long after she was crowned divine, erotic art and literature featuring her began to make an appearance in noble Orlesian circles. The situations depicted in these works were entirely fictional. Divine Rosamund led a life that was beyond reproach, but it seemed that her purity only served to fan the flames of creativity in her followers. To them, reality was a meddlesome creature to be punted off the nearest cliff, and they showed no restraint in portraying the divine in the midst of activities, both forbidden and often physically impossible. Several pages of a pamphlet containing a story about Rosamund still exist in the private collection of a certain gentlewoman who will remain unnamed. One page describes, in painful detail, Rosamund's perfumed sanctuary. <laughs> the rest are dedicated to portraying the Most Holy at her daily exaltations before she is joined in worship by her devoted Templars. <laughs> what is this book coming from? Secrets of the Most Holy. Not exactly something we should be reading right now, right this moment. But interesting information nonetheless. Ha! Oh, the breach in direct view. I touched so much of you. But you are selfish with your glory. Now I'm no one. You're too ugly to be alive. Dark and desperate. Death to make yourself alive. I used to be like you. I'm not anymore. You shouldn't be either. I didn't know that's what an envy demon looked like. I thought we've seen other ones before, haven't we? The pride demon had the most iconic look, but damn, this guy is... ...fogly. Maybe because it's supposed to be an imposter. Like a shape-shifting thing, so the default shape is something undesirable. Oh, look, it's got a skull on there, a little shield. Oh, shoot. Come back here. Hang in there, Cassandra. Be careful. I'll play with you right now. Oh, am I? My head is frozen. We gotta go, we gotta go. Uh-oh. Wow, come on, I just walked over here. <laughs> Allies! It's trying to hold. Silence! Over there. You can't hide forever. Whoa! Taking form of the statue. What could you gain from being me? Everything. Wait, is that is that supposed to be me? That was my voice. I still know you, Lavella. I know all of you. Gigantic. Go home already. I wonder who S was, though. Come on. Doesn't move around much. Lots of red lyrium just growing around here, too. Oh! Here you are. Cassandra! Where you going, buddy? Come and get me? Don't be stubborn. Give you some bees. You like bees? Not very much. It's corpse. 
Did you see the corpse had a million bees on it? That was great. Audacity! Wow, lots of essences. Sigil of the Revenant. Rare sigil! Have I even found any sigils so far? Oh. Cole. Thank you for helping. I guess we go back now. Cassandra, you alright? You're tanking everything. So we managed to stop the corruption of the Templars here. But in return, the mages were left unattended. Herald, Knight Templar Fletcher. Before he died, Sir Barris described how you revealed the demon with Andraste's holy light. We lacked vigilance. Our officers failed us. The rest of the Order was blind. If the Inquisition has use for us, we're ready to hear it. There was corruption here, but also I see valor and honor in each of you who stood fast. Rise tall again. Help the Inquisition seal the breach before it swallows us all. We shirked our purpose because we were afraid to question. I see that now. But our order is without officers. We must rebuild what the traitors tore down. Hmm, similar to the mage thing where I guess you can have them... Oh, convince the Templars to disband and become part of the Inquisition instead. Or ask the Templars to join you as free allies. Okay, I thought we were gonna take them in as sort of prisoners too. But it's a little bit different here because they didn't actually... Well, they didn't make any big judgment lapse, right? It's that they had a gap in their security and they fell victim to the demon, which is a little, you know, it's not... It's sad that happened, but it wasn't a conscious thing. So if we choose this, then the concept of Templars will be... non-existent then. That's interesting. It's really gonna throw a wrench into everything. Like, everything as in the, the current existing system. I think that does sound kind of interesting, although what would it mean in the long term? I think Vivienne will immediately be upset. I think she will. There is no time. If the old order is too broken to stand, then become knights under the Inquisition. Oh, slightly disagrees. Serve us. Stop the breach and begin again without stain on your honor. That is our offer. Templars. Do we end the order if it means we may fulfill the oaths we made on joining it? The order is disbanded. We will serve under the Inquisition to stop this breach. We will join you. Templars know how to serve. Just be sure your Inquisition is ready for new arrivals. You're leaving? We'll be ready for anyone willing to throw their hat in with us. Interesting. You disbanded the Templar Order on the Inquisition's authority. You did not see what they had done, Commander. You and their Herald fought bravely, but that decision should have been the Inquisition's, not yours alone. So what, you wanted to come back here have a vote about it? First? Templars disbanding. Did they themselves even want to be associated with that tainted name? That's a question too. It was chaos. I couldn't keep the Templars in the courtyard while I searched for a messenger bird. I would have preferred willing allies, but the Order hmm. put their trust in our Herald. Surely that's what we wanted. A few dozen veterans are coming ahead of the rest to help seal the breach. How soon until these veterans arrive? Oh my god! They're almost here. Templars don't like to be late. Maker, 
Wait. I came with you to help. I would have told you before, but you were busy. We're making a grand entrance. That's fine, Cole. You just startled us, appearing out of thin air. I wasn't air. I was here. You didn't see me. Most people don't until I let them. Call the guards. This creature is not what you... A moment, please, Cassandra. I would like to hear why he came. You help people. You made them safe when they would have died. I want to do that. I can help. So you would have gotten him here, but the the trade-off is that we don't know about... We m could have or could have not met Dorian by this point. We did. But he j he was like, hey, do you want to help me fight against my former mentor or not? And then we just left him hanging. And now we're here. Why and how would you help the Inquisition? The hole in the sky is too loud for spirits to think. It's pulling, pushing out pain. I want to stop it. How altruistic of you. I want to help. I can be hard to see. I can kill things that would hurt people. I won't get in the way. He's so eager to help. But Cassandra's distrustful. Oh, this is not even just not allowing him to join. This is killing him. Well, trying to kill him. I don't know if you would succeed. Cole saved my life in Theronfall. I couldn't have defeated Envy without him. But what does he want now? I think he really is trying to help. I won't be in the way. Tiny, <laughs> no trouble. No <laughs> notice first. taken unless you want them to. You're not honestly suggesting we give him run of the camp? Not freely, perhaps, but it seems a waste to... Hold on. Where did he go? I'm sure we'll find him somewhere. <laughs> yes, we must make sure of that. I'll have people watch the boy. But let's not be distracted from the breach. We'll need your help when the Templar veterans arrive. Take time to prepare while you can. Okay, interesting. Okay, yeah, so we get coal earlier, but then I assume later on when we do the In Your Heart Shall Burn, when Corypheus comes and maybe Dorian's the one that's like, Hey, it's mages coming over here. I couldn't... Why didn't you come help me? Now... They're gonna come destroy everything. So that's great. Interesting. Okay, I'm glad I got to try this out. Um, but I think... I think the most interesting thing was what happened at the end here where we decided, okay, do you want the Templar Order to just completely disband? Or have them allied with us as the Templar Order? Because on the mage side, no matter what happened, they were still just gonna be mages. Because that's not an order, that's just what they are. Feels that this might change the existing system up in a greater way. But other than this one point, I probably prefer the mage route a little bit more. Yeah, because it felt like the stakes were just a little bit higher because we could very tangibly see what was going to happen in the future and our companions were just in such a state of ruin, especially Liliana and all that. But on this side, it was basically the envy demon trying to mess with us and, well, yeah, okay, it wasn't really... didn't really freak me out all too much. But either way, I think I'm glad to have seen both sides. It's a little bit hard for me to separate out in my head what we learned because, you know, we learned a little bit more ahead already in our actual save. But here we learned more about Red Lyrium, a little bit. Well, there is a lot of it, and we don't know where it's from, but it's not just in the temple. And the demon was working for Corypheus. The demon has a whole bunch of... Corypheus has a whole bunch of people working for him. The Winter Magisters, demons, Darkspawn Dragons. Surprisingly, they've been able to keep it under the wraps for quite a while. Hmm. Alright, cool, cool. When we return, we're gonna be back on the other side with Skyhold.